to this GMDE screencast. And today we're going to concentrate on simple georeferencing uh, of a file. So we're starting here with the blank GMDE screen that you see when you first start the program up. And we're going to georeference a uh, topographic quadrangle map that I downloaded from the US Geological Survey. Now, many maps come with georeferencing information on them from the internet. However, for raster maps, uh, GMDE needs to have you georeference the map within the program. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. So we go to File, and we open our map. And you can see here, it is uh, in this uh, uh, folder here. It's a uh, um, typical uh, uh, raster JPEG map. Note, by the way, that GMDE can open um, PDF files on Mac computers, but it cannot open PDF files on Windows computers. So I'm just resizing the screen now so that it appears uh, in the area of the screencast, um, because of course GMDE expands to fill your entire screen when you first use it. Now the first thing we need to do before we actually start georeferencing is to go down to the bottom left corner of the map. This is typically where you find this information in uh, USGS maps, and note the datum. This map uses a NAD 1983 uh, datum, and that will become important when we georeference it. Now, uh, we'll go back up to the uh, northwest or the upper left corner of the map, and you can see that they have latitude and longitude in degrees and minutes. GMDE, when you enter uh, latitude and longitude, it needs to have those values in decimal degrees. And 15 minutes uh, out of a 60 minutes total is one quarter or 0.25. So we're actually going to do that. The other thing to bear in mind is that this map is in the Western United States. So it has a longitude of 111 degrees west. Uh, in GMDE, uh, longitude in degrees west is entered as a negative number, and uh, latitudes south of the equator are entered with negative numbers. So we're going to enter this number as a negative number and this number as a positive number. All right, let's get started. To georeference, we go to the settings menu and we choose georeference. And we get this dialog box here with a little rectangle representing the map. And it's telling us it wants us to click on that corner first. So we'll come down here and we'll click here. You could zoom in if you wish. And you get two text boxes. This one here lined up with the latitude line is for the latitude. And this one lined up for the longitude line is for the longitude. And so let's do the longitude first and we'll type one minus 111.25. And then we can click here and uh, type 43.25. And now it's telling us to go to the upper right corner. So we'll scroll over there and click on the upper right corner. And it has filled in the latitude for us already because we're on the same latitude line. And we just have to put in the longitude, which is minus 111.125, which is the decimal equivalent of seven and a half degrees or seven and a half minutes. Now we go to the third corner and we click down here and uh, we'll enter. 43.125, oops, I got a click in here, 40, 43.125, and go to the final corner and click there. And it's filled in the values for us because this is a rectangular map. 
Now, the only other thing we have to do here is to make sure we enter the datum. Remember, NAD83, so we uh, select NAD-CONUS for Continental US 1983, and click OK. This map has contours in feet, so we're going to use feet uh, for the map, and uh, we should be all set. Now, if you want to know how good your georeferencing information is, you can go to Settings and choose uh, Show Map Metadata. And that gives us this dialog box here that tells us what the chi-squared fit of the georeferencing is. And 0.3 is a very good number, uh, so that's great. It also gives us the datum uh, and so on. So let's see what the elevation server is set for for this map. I go to the inspector and topo tab, and it is the USGS uh, NED elevation server. So that's good. Holding down the option key in the Mac or the alt key in Windows, and it should give us the elevation. The USGS server is going a little slowly today, but you see it gives us an elevation of 7,600 feet, which is exactly what we want. All right, that is it for georeferencing. Once the map is georeferenced, you see the latitude and longitude at the cursor in, down here in the corner. And these numbers here are the UTM, Eastings and Northings, and the zone number. Um, and because we set feet as the unit, these numbers are actually in feet here. The georeferencing process we've just seen only has to be done once because GMDE automatically saves a small text file in the same folder as your map with all of the information in it. That's it. Hope you enjoyed this.